Well, look at where we're at. We got a nice little uh, campfire here going, Kyle. Right. We do. We do. You want to know what's even better about campfire? Time to cook. Cook. Oh, yeah, those are looking very nice. I'm zoomed in on one. I'm just going to get a nice, smoky taste. Look at that. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. It's gaining some flavor. It's, oh, oh, yeah. It's looking so delicious. So delicious. So juicy. And then, eventually. Can you burn them? No, I'm not going to burn them. They pop off like that. Mine. Yo. All right, well, we've done quite a bit of work off camera since uh, episode two. As you can tell, we're fully ironed up. I think we were ironed up then anyway, so it doesn't matter. We got a nice little campfire spot here that we, uh, we got assembled. Unfortunately, there's some icky mycelium around. We got to turn that to grass still. Yeah, it's going to take some time. We got some fun spyglass stuff, telescopes. So now I can zoom in on that bear. <gasps> hey, that's a cub. Hey, Kyle, you should go say hi to them. Okay. Don't attack me, bear. Oh. You don't move fast when you're zoomed You're looking in. at me. <laughs> you started looking at me. So Kyle doesn't know the rules of the game. Uh, when a, there's a polar bear with a cub and you get close to it, it's going to change. Oh, God, it's coming over here. Run. <laughs> Don't bring it back. <laughs> it's going to chase you and attack you. Oh, my God. It's still going. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's still after me. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> run, Ewok, run. Ha! Ah. Get out of here, you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get away from me. He has the high ground. Nope, now he doesn't. Hey, Cod. <laughs> All right, now that... <laughs> Now that that's been dealt with, <laughs> let's go uh, wander around and show what we've got going. So we got yeah. uh, a carrot, a wheat, and potato farms here. Just a little, what, five by five about? Mm. Looks like it. Uh, we got our front little llama here. He's trying to figure out how to work the uh, stone and cobblestone generator. Very... Poorly designed by me, of course. <laughs> uh, inside, we have our little house. We have some dripstone being made. And uh, all of that. So, very nice. Very small scale. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. So, we got, what, one, two... We got four extra pieces of dripstone that we can uh, expand on now. Got some random chests. I don't even know clue what we got in there. We're eating carrots now instead of the stew. Uh, our lava cauldron still going strong. Got some mushrooms. Nice. Uh, mushrooms at the end of the welcome. last episode, uh, since then, I actually finished and built the uh, villager breeder. So we got that going. Hey, hey, we got a cat over here, too. Yep. God. Oh, you can't chase it, dude. You got to like let it come to you. Don't move. It'll eventually move up closer to you. Like that. Yep. There it goes. Dude, you tamed it on the first one. 
Nice. Now you have a pet cat. All right, let's go, cat. We're gonna put you in the uh, house quick. So while he's doing that, so we got the villager breeder. Uh, we got the two of them up here, and then we got little baby guys down there. So that's what the farm was primarily used for, the, the carrots and the potatoes. And then in this little hallway we had, I started digging down. This goes all the way down to Y equals five. This is nice. for our, where we'll have our mine shaft. I got a little sugarcane farm going here so that we can keep up on our map. So we got a map here and we got one map already ready to go for uh, displaying purposes. We're gonna update that every now and then. Um, keep going down. I think it's the here. I saw the big boy, so that means it was the right level. Yep, there he is. Got a big slime. So, not a slime farm, just a uh, menace of stuff here. Primarily, way we get in our slime right now is from this. Just because they're all over the place right down here somewhere here is a slime chunk but we got a zombie spawner this is where they normally spawn in uh in this area so uh slime will not be spawning in there anymore once when we get the zombie spawner built and then you take a small little uh hallway into the skeleton spawner room which is still a work in progress so we've got quite a bit going on that we've done off camera uh oh the carrot the, the, the villager carrot farm we gotta go show ah now over here we got the carrot farm uh done some redesigning every now and then trying to fix what i don't like uh still not a 100 percent huge fan of it but it's better than what it originally looked like so we got two right. villagers in each of their pods what they do is they gather all the carrots and then they try to throw it to this villager in the center here who we can actually uh trade with if we want to he trades for carrots so whenever we have excess amounts of carrots like right now i'm grabbing some because i was below half a stack and you go through them very fast uh oh yeah you do so yeah, they throw them in, but they get picked up by some hoppers. And of course, you know, hoppers are made of iron. And, uh, you know, we're kind of low on iron right now. Yes, we are. So I think what we have to do today is make an iron farm. Iron farm, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Uh, I also made sure that the villagers had a view so on this side they got some windows they can look out onto the ocean and see the sunrise yeah. so they, they get a nice view so don't worry they got a nice view of the of the icebergs and they had a nice view of Kyle getting chased by the uh, polar bear just a little bit ago yep <laughs> not their typical Monday morning oh. adventures they get to see so they probably enjoyed it oh easily so I think the idea with this farm, the carrots here, I think I'm going to double it and build up on a second one so that we can get okay. a little bit more, maybe have that one be more focused on converting into bone meal so that we're getting some bone meal as well. Makes sense. Okay. I dig it. Yeah. So iron farm. We have a, I've built many, many iron farms in the past before. Uh, I've built very clunky ones from olden days that worked on Java yeah. edition. I've built um, some very fine, very small ones on Java edition. And I've built some in bedrock edition as well. And the thing that sucks about bedrock edition is the fact that they gotta be kind of clunky. They're big in size. Oh, yep, it is lava. That was on the map. Got distracted. So, 
we've gathered the resources. We got it ready. We have llamas for days. Like, legitimately. They're just everywhere from wandering villagers. Yeah, the wandering traders. They must die somehow from the drowned. And then we just get stuck with all of these llamas. But there we go. I've done some work. We got our... Hopefully there's still 10 of them there. I'm hoping. If not, I'll... We got a couple spares back at the thing. I see 10. So... We're going to start building a uh, iron farm. So I hope I have all the resources we need. Oh my god, I don't. We don't have any hoppers. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Kyle. You want to go back to the tunnel and grab the iron? Yeah. <laughs> Down in the cave. It's in the bottom right chest. I'm gonna start working on this a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. So, let's see. All right. So let's hop over to here. So, Kyle, have you ever made an iron farm yourself before? I have not. You have not. Okay. So, what have you made a hopper before? Let's start with that. Uh, I can find a hopper, yeah. You're gonna need some chests to make a hopper. Yes. I just gave you some wood. <laughs> Thank you. I just looked at that, I was like, oh yeah, that's great. So this is a whole new experience uh, for you. This is all it new is. stuff. You've not done a lot. How of many that. hoppers do you need? Mm, just one or? Nine. Nine. Plus two chests. So we'll need 11 chests total made. I... Where would it be under? What you're looking for? The scaffolding blocks. Oh, we can't make any. Oh, we can? No, we need uh, bamboo, which we don't have. When I'm okay. when I meant scaffolding blocks, I meant like stuff for like you could just pillar up on. Oh. I, I could probably grab some. I got some here for you. All right, cool. There's some dirt. Nice, I'm at 48 overall. All right, cool. That should be more than enough for us to finagle around with. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do first, so we can't really build some complicated storage system for this because obviously we need a lot more hoppers and chests. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're basically going to go with a, a single storage chest. Uh, you want to toss me hoppers in that so I can show you how to do this. Yes. Got a couple more things of wood in here. Get oh. okay, that's fine. So first, what we need to do is do that and that. So that should be good and then just get all the hoppers to connect to the chest so if I drop that in and that in this chest should have two chests and it does all right so this is the kill floor that the uh, golems will land on. So then if I were to do... Yep, all of it should appear in the chest. Nice.
So eventually we'll probably build a decent storage area for for these for this uh, farm, but for now it's uh, not going to be that easy because we're, yeah. we're working with very limited iron and it requires a lot of iron to build a large array of storage that I want. Okay, maybe we have more than I thought, but still not nearly enough for what for the big five by five storage cubes. Okay. Um. So, the next thing is we got to build the kill floor. And I always found campfires to be a cruel and un forgivable punishment for some reason because <laughs> it, it, it kills everything when you stand on it so right we just have that over the hoppers because everything that drops onto it every item that drops onto it will eventually uh, get picked up by the um, by the hopper itself. So to demonstrate, we'll throw on one, or we'll throw on a couple of these cooked, or not cooked, uh, the raw. So I'm just kind of throwing them on randomly. I can't even tell which ones I'm putting them on. Remember, kids, smoking's bad. Can't see in there. You can if you go to the outside of the wall of the. Glass once the smoke moves up. Yeah. So eventually, the idea will be that once when these are cooked, they're all just going to drop and appear into the uh, chest right here. Hey, and they are. Nice. Unless you happen to pick one up by mistake. I did. But that's just because it popped up close to you. That's the only reason. So. Yeah. Now, what we need to do is get you off of here. I could have just asked you to leave, but I had to do it the <laughs> fun way. Now, we need to pillar up with glass. So I'll build up the uh, tube here. And once when we get to the proper height we can start building the actual platform Yeet. so this will be layer one right at this height okay So the idea is we need to build a platform that all of the iron golems can spawn on and then they'll get pushed into this center here via water streams, fall down there mm -hmm. and be defeated by the flames in which we can claim it in from the chest. So that's cool. our goal. All right. So to do that, we need to build these uh, this first spawning platform. So I think we go I might need to go into the other world and see the dimensions quick actually let's do that quick sounds good so what we're doing first is we're building the first spawn floor mm -hmm. so we're going to make it all andesite and then okay. uh, it needs to be, so from this, from the, each of the edges, it should be six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, Six there. Yep, and so now we just make a square. So let's fill it in. 
and not put them in the wrong spot. But it's not Minecraft if you don't put it in the wrong, or if you put it in the wrong spot. You got to do it at least once, or a half dozen times. Yeah. Or even a full dozen. That's totally fine. I always forget how much resources it takes to build one of these damn things. I'm like thinking, I'm like, I don't even think we have enough andesite and other blocks to fully build it. Leaf. Might have to run back to the mines and get some more. Which would be a big shame. It would be. The nice thing is, though, I did grab our boat so we can boat back at least. Hey, there you go. Uh, I'm out of andesite now. now out as well all right well we ran out of anisite but we can still at least uh work on what we need to do in here so yep. right now i'm just building the border of it because this is where the walls are actually going to go okay and that's kind of important you know you need the walls to make sure everything stays in. All right. So, oh. I mean, yeah, we were short a little bit on this, but we're supposed to build another floor of it, too. All right. So I'm going to grab some of this tough. I'm going to go like that. Yeah. Now the concept I'm going off of is I just have random blocks and I'm, that's kind of mm -hmm. how I'm building. For sure. Dude. This is where we're going to put the water so that it then actually moves over into here yep. without actually falling on top of the uh, flames. Yep. Here we would have another layer of the bricks, but I don't think I got enough to go all the way around for a second layer. So there's going to be a lot of work that we have that goes into this. Still, right. We got to get more stone. We got to get more andesite. But what we can do is we got some stuff we can build here. So, I'm going to cheese my way down. Uh, do you have your bed on you? I do. Might as well just sleep quick. All right. Get that. Mm. And... I need to get my way out of here if I do this. Yep. Cool. Alright. Uh, put that to there. So what we can do at least is uh, do some bed placements. You jump down as well, so I got a pillar back up. And we got to take down our pillars at the end.
Well, hold on, Kyle. Don't don't fill her up. Cause I got a water bucket here. We'll use that to get back up here. Oh, smart move. Nice. Now we're back up here. <laughs> so what we need to do is make a mock uh, floor here. And I I needed my cobblestone in my inventory hand, and I didn't put it there. Um, so if we go one, two, three... might want to pillar up to here too because you'll have to help oops Cool. So we got this ring, and this ring is primarily for the beds. So this is what the villagers need in order to spawn. So I'll give you all the red beds, although I, except I threw them right back at my feet. Not how that works. Okay. Um, kicked me out. Says Kyle left the game. It kicked me out, yeah. I guess I'll just jump back in. Yeah. You <laughs> jump back in right onto the bed. Okay, now I'm in. Send the red beds back to you. Is your inventory full? God, you got a lot of junk. Oh, I'll take that. All right. So you just want them all the way bordering here? Yep, so we need to, oh, nope, nope, nope. You need to be on the top side. I'm on this bottom. Wait, hold on. How does the, nope, hold on. We're building it wrong. I'm trying to think of it based on the map because we want it to look correct. Um, if we were looking at it from above uh, through the map. So this is correct now. Sorry, I'm just rearranging my stoof. No! 
I'm dying. <laughs> well, we know the killing chamber works. And because we picked up the beds, I'm back at the start. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, I'll come pick you up. L. My boat. The good thing is, you died on some hoppers, so all your items should have been picked up. Right. Yeah, at least it's not losing them all. Yeah. Maybe I That's shouldn't have uh, sealed up the killing chamber so early. I disconnected from the server again. All right, we got the bed in now. Yes. No accidents. No accidents. Perfect. All right, so there we go. We got almost the whole first floor done, which is cool. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut here because we and by we, I mean I, really underestimated how much resources we needed. By a lot. So we're going to have to cut. Even the with a smaller build, it takes a lot. Yeah. Well, if we could build the, the, the uh, job edition one, that'd be awesome. But dude, this Pokeball looks good. It turned out great. Hey. Very nice. It's the only thing that's ruining it for me. I'll point it out. It's the the pillows on both the top and the bottom. If we could like yeah, turn that texture some somehow. Just like have the blanket cover up the pillows, dude. That'd be great. I'm fine with the. Dude, with that the, would look cool. I'm or if anything, uh, no, there's no way of doing it. But like, have the the covers cover up the pillow just on these six beds, because I'm fine with the white border yeah. down the side. That's fine because it's uniform. Right. But it's those pillow ones that are are the the center ones because they're different. We could have uh, we could have placed the beds opposite so that the white is going inside to look like the button. Hold on. Let's re put the cobblestone down and see how that looks. I love how we're trying to figure this out just because we want it to look cool. Even though it'll never be seen, really. I don't have another white one. I see it. It fell down here. Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks. How it got to there, I have no clue. All right. Looks better. Looks a little better. I like that better. Yeah. Honestly. It just looks like it's got teeth and its mouth is wide open now. <laughs> He's going, nom, it nom, does. nom, feed me iron. <laughs> okay. Now that you bring that up, it does. <laughs> but this looks so much better. Okay, we're, we're sticking with this, this way. It, it turned out better. So, what we're going to do is we have some resource gathering to go do and converting and all that because we need more andesite. We need more stone bricks. But we got a decent part of this going, so that's good. Yeah, I like the start. I like the start. This yeah. is a good start. So we'll be back after this. Uh, what this short? Well, it's not really a short break for us. It's a short break for them. For the viewers. Yeah. So it'll be a little bit for you guys. I have no clue how long it's going to be for us. So we'll be back in a little bit. 
So it's been a while since the two of us have been in the world. Uh, the last time we were in was what we did versus, uh, just so everyone is aware. And so we are making our way back from the verses. We we have gathered some materials between uh, the last segment you guys saw and verses. And we've gathered a little bit more uh, since verses. And now that we're recording again, it's been quite a while. Um, we're trying Who's to find our else? way back. What? A uh, month or so? Yeah. If, if not more? A lot more. It's been a while. Yeah. A long while. So we're trying to find our way back. I think I missed a turn. Uh, but yeah, so the iron farm is not going to get completed in this episode. We will complete it in the next episode. But we will show you the, the little progress that we did off camera before we did uh, the Minecraft versus. So first, we got to find our way back. That That's going to be the challenge. I think we might have to walk a little bit. Um, I should. Where's my notebook? There it is. Get out of the boat. Let me see if I have the uh, coordinates written down. Oh, you're right there. Oh, I fell in the water. <laughs> Tells me to get out of the boat, and he himself gets in the water. <laughs> right as the sun is about to set. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Utilize. I see a mushroom. That's a good sign. There we go. This is what, it's the only island that we've ever seen. So unless we find two islands and one server, then. Well, it's possible. There's multiple of them mm -hmm. in the world, but it's possible. It's well, they're very luck? hard to find. But does this oh, one? Oh, that's definitely it. Yeah. <laughs> does this other one have a villager breeder on it? I don't think so. There we go. That's it. And multiple boats. <laughs> Traveling purposes. All right. Though. So bare minimum. Looks like I'm looking at five. Five hundred. Probably go down to four something. What's well, a big island? So if we just say four, five hundred, two hundred, that's an approximate area. Please say the beds are here. The beds are here. Meow. Alright, just got done writing them down just so I have them in my notes as well. We figured ah. it out. Well, hope you hey. like a nightlight. Good night. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, we've done a little work, as you can tell. Oh my god, get rid of some of this junk out of my hands. Uh, we got the starting of the pillars. As you can tell, we got some, uh, deep slate, uh, bricks. We got saw, and we got four of those going up. Uh, you can kind of see I was working on some sort of design over here with all the I dirt. dig it. Uh, oh, not oh, over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't I know what you're doing something, with that. <laughs> I'm trying to, I was trying to build something It'll I couldn't figure out. I, I think I need to get the other layers in before I fully make try to make the oh, design. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's really I hard with such a small scale. I can get an idea, but it looks like it, you're, it looks like Frogger at this point. I, I tried old... several things and nothing was working that I liked. <laughs> so I need to finish. We need to finish the building. But as you can tell up here, we got everything up and layered. So our next task uh, in next episode, to be precise, will be actually us getting the villagers up here and hopefully capping off the top of this and watching iron starting to flow in for us. Yeah, that would be really cool. To actually it's going to be great. See. And before we do anything... Let's so I don't fall in again. Steal that in so Kyle doesn't <laughs> fall in. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I like, it. Oh. I like everything. We got a nice little good. pokeball. Can yeah. Barely can barely see it when I jump up, but that's a pokeball, folks. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Minecraft, and we'll see you in the next one where we will be finishing up this iron farm.
Uh, Kyle, anything else you got to say? Um, there's a cat here. There's and a lot I want to tame here. it eventually. <laughs> That's about it. That's about um, it. I will tame more than one cat. He's going to be a crazy cat guy. Yep. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.